Hey guys, thank you for tuning in on another video here. Um, it's been a while. I really wish I could put up more videos, but between cleaning the collection and working a lot of hours, it's tough to do this. You know, maintaining the collection does come first um, after we get off. So, just wanted to let you guys know, really excited about the upcoming Pomona show this weekend. Um, kind of trying to get everything planned out and, <laughs> you know, situated and coordinated with everybody. Uh, we got to drop our dog off, and mom's taking care of uh, him for the weekend. And fiance's parents and grandparents are coming with us again. They came with us to the Tracy show, so they're packing up, coming with us to the Mona show. Um, they actually, when we first got together, they weren't really into reptiles at all. And um, I don't know if they just see, you know, how much I'm into it and how much that it, you know, means to me and kind of calms me down and relaxes me. And, you know, it's always been a passion of mine. But they seem to enjoy it now. So it's, it's kind of cool seeing, you know, people get over their fears or you know not understanding something and you know learning to enjoy it so just want to go over and let you guys know what's going to be at the show i have a female mystic lesser that i'm going to be bringing um, she's got some good size on her she's about 400 grams uh eating great um, she does have you know she's solid white but she does have the kind of light yellow stripe down her back um, she's actually really laid back really nice um, very good demeanor so that's nice but if you guys are looking for a breeder female uh, for the upcoming season or year after that um, she's well started and ready to go and eating frozen thawed like most of our stuff i mean pretty much 97 percent of our things uh only eat frozen thawed so that's always good um easier to do <clears throat> i don't have time to <laughs> maintain a rat collection to feed a snake collection so i do have three pastel pides uh one male um, two females uh, one of the females i'm kind of hoping she doesn't sell so i can keep her that's kind of my decision if i'm gonna keep her or not uh she's uh she's really gorgeous i love her um also i have a pastel um <coughs> banana het pied uh male so if you guys are looking to kind of get into the banana pro uh, banana pie project or pastel pie project that would be a really good one for you i uh, do i will have some het pieds coming too so if you guys want to get a pair from us and you want to pick him up maybe i'll throw in a female het pied for you to help you out and get you going so um, love how people get into this hobby and get started and you know I've had uh, my uh, <coughs> business partner kind of <laughs> um, he you know a lot of these animals are from him you know he puts a lot of work and um, everything's kept really clean really sterile everything eats does exactly what he says it'll do um, he's been around probably in the hobby for about 35 years so you know anytime I have a question or hey I can't get this thing to eat or you know these things aren't breeding or you know what's going on I call him and sure enough I do what he says and things start working and start clicking so uh, we are going to be bringing the Huffman Pied uh, I'm really excited about that um, we're going to keep a few of them um, they're at his facility and uh, but <clears throat> I have one here a female um, she's eating really good um, I believe it to be the world's first I'm not sure I don't I haven't seen any out there um, yet so who knows if somebody has one and just hasn't you know announced it so um, but we believe it to be um, we don't kind of pride ourselves on producing the world's first animals uh, we just want to make the next best you know next best ball python you know everybody has a different eye and they like certain things and different quality animals so we would just want to try to have a good variety and specialize in what we specialize in and hopefully you know we can have somebody <clears throat> or you know a bunch of customers you know like our animals enough to purchase them from us um and all the animals we showed from the tracy sold at the tracy show um, a lot of our customers did a lot of feedback and stuff and the animals are doing great they're eating they sent me videos of them eating and oh it shed for the first time and i had a lot of customers that you know these were the first time snakes for them so um, it's always neat i did have a customer come in and pick up a genetic stripe from me uh him and his dad were walking around the show both days stopped at the table you know and kind of talked to him and gave him some info and <clears throat> um so him and his dad and his mom actually came to the house and picked up a genetic stripe male and um, he's super stoked um, so really excited that people actually liked us enough to contact us and with all the people that are out there and um, you know we just we want to be a little different you know we want to help people after the sale so if you guys buy something from us and you guys you know have an issue where it's not eating or something like that don't hesitate call me you know send me an email I you know I give my phone number out my email out I want to help you guys I want you guys to have a positive experience and share with my knowledge that I've learned and pass it off to you guys um do you have some uh black pastel bananas or black pastel pied sorry do you have a black pastel banana so that was what's coming up next but black pastel pieds um i have a male and a female the females being 
really pain in the butt. She doesn't really want to eat regularly. Um, you know, she kind of eats once a month, and I just I don't feel like it. She's eaten strong enough to bring her yet. I haven't made a hundred percent decision on that. Um, but the male is going to come. He's doing well, uh, well started. He does eat. You know, he likes to eat every two weeks. I do have some of my animals that will eat every two weeks. Well, they'll eat a good amount. You know, they'll eat. You know, he'll eat two fuzzy rats each week or, or each other week or every other week. Sorry about that. Um, so. It's enough food, keeps them going. Uh, banana pies, I'm gonna have those too. Also, <coughs> uh, black pastel banana that I just kind of jumped the gun on a little bit ago. Um, he's coming, really gorgeous. I love the, what black pastel and cinnamon and uh, Huffman does to the banana. Um, I won't have a Huffman banana, but my uh, partner does. Um, so we may have some of those available for sale here soon. If you guys are interested in something like that, you know something a little different, contact me and I can uh, check our inventory and see if we have one. Uh, I'm pretty sure he does, so. Let me see here. We are going to do uh, some albino um, het pied uh, combos, you know, pairs. So uh, 350 bucks, you get a female albino het pied, and then you also get a male het pied albino double het, um, het pied albino to go with it. So kind of a cheap way to get into that project. Um, you know, that's, I think from what I've seen, it's about $100 savings um, or even a little more, depending on, you know, who you're buying from. Um, so that's kind of a cool, <laughs> cool thing. I do have some uh, high contrast albino male that'll be available at the show. Uh, he's really awesome. He's actually the brother to one of the ones I have that I kept, and uh, they're both doing great. <laughs> so that's awesome. And then uh, I'm trying to think of what else. We'll have a sp uh, two spider banana males that are going to be coming. Um, some young, like six month to nine, nine month uh, banana males. So if you guys want something a little smaller um, that doesn't, you know, quite need as a big enough cage or something like that, depending on, you know, what your situation is or what you're looking for, we will have bananas uh, ranging from different sizing and different genes and combos and stuff like that. Um, we'll have some normal stuff too. I'm going to bring a couple normals with me, uh, some bunch of het pied stuff um, that may not be on the table just because I want to fill the displays with stuff that, you know, more eye catching. But if you guys are interested in some het pieds, um, those I'm going to kind of use. I have a lot of het pied uh, males and females and stuff that have, you know, other genes attached to them. Um, so if you guys pick up one of those and want a pair or something like that, let me know. You know, it might be something I can throw in to help you guys uh, feel comfortable about doing business with us. Um, not a problem. Just let me know. Um, if you guys are watching this video and you guys do come by the Pomona show and you see us, recognize us, let us know that you follow, saw us on YouTube. Um, that you watch our videos. We'd love to inter you know, be introduced to people that follow us and support us. Uh, we are a small kind of little hobby. You know, me and my fiance do it um, kind of after work and we come in here and, you know, clean cages and feed everybody. And, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. You know, I really enjoy it. So um, look forward to seeing you guys out there. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Uh, we, like I said, we're going to have some Huffman, some bananas, a um, couple spiders, a bunch of albino double head pied stuff, some visual albino head pieds, um, <clears throat> and also the banana uh, pieds will be there, so I'll have three males, a uh, Huffman pied, like I said, don't know if it's the world's first, but she'll be there, so um, that one's going to kind of have a higher price tag on it, um, but love you guys come by and check them out and uh, visit with us and let us know what you think of the videos and how we can improve, we just want to, you know, try to get better and um, the YouTube thing, I'm, you know, I do it on my iPhone. I don't have a fancy camera. I don't know how to edit videos, you know. So, honestly, just do it to kind of, um, you know, get the word out there about us and what we have and what we have available. So, um, if there's anything I can do to make a better video, I'm trying to get together with uh, a couple of guys now that I'm back in California because I really like their videos and how they edit them. Um, but I haven't heard anything back yet. Um, you know, always evolving Python. So, love your videos. Hopefully, we can somehow connect and. You can give me some pointers. Um, the guy from Triple B TV, Brian Cusco. I think that's the last name is Cusco. There's always videos of how you pronounce it. So um, if I didn't pronounce it right, Brian, sorry. Um, but I'm good. I love uh, Brian Gundy. I talk to him a lot. You know, he's helped me a lot with different things. And uh, him and uh, Triple B TV, uh, Brian, are, you know, pretty close. It seems like they hang out and, you know, have done stuff together. Um, so I really just want to kind of get involved in this community down here and see what I can do to be more a part of it and hopefully you guys can help me with you know YouTube stuff and how to feel more comfortable with the camera and seeing yourself on film and uh, you know how to edit it and you know just make better videos so people have you know more of an enjoyment when they watch them so 
uh, feel free to comment and let me know if that's possible. Um, if not, I totally get it. Life's busy and uh, you can only do so much in a day. Um, so, all right, you guys, look forward to seeing you at the Pomona show. If you guys do, if you guys are there and um, see us, like I said, introduce yourself. I want to see, uh, you know, how many people that are going to be there and I'd love to hear from our followers and stuff. So, thanks again for watching. Bye.